Hello everyone and welcome to our topic of supportive volunteering and employment, which are new programs that we're beginning to offer here at Bendreach. My name is Brianna Roach and I'm the new Community Engagement Coordinator and here with me is Rebecca Lawrence. Hello everybody, thank you so much for joining us today. My name is Rebecca Lawrence and I'm the Life Skills Coordinator at Windreach. Hi, my name is Tina Nash, I'm the Executive Director for Windreach Bermuda, an incredible nonprofit located in Warwick, Bermuda that is four plus acres of incredible green spaces and therapeutic animals. We exist to improve the quality of life for people with disabilities and special needs. We have several programs that help us do this. We have a therapeutic riding program, we have a life skills program, we have an environmental education program, a community outreach program, and an adult day program that serves seniors living with Alzheimer's and dementia. We are proud of all that we do and we really work hard to make sure that all of our goals and all of our objectives work to meet the needs of those living with special needs and disabilities. We are excited to present our supportive volunteering program starting this January 2023, which is linked to our other programming opportunities starting in September 2023 to 2024, which provides support for work experience and employment. We are aware of a gap within support and opportunities for adults with special needs and disabilities in Bermuda. Within employment and work experience, accessing the community and building social networks, and continued learning and skill development. Without continued opportunities to explore these areas, an individual's quality of life can be negatively impacted. We all deserve to feel we have a purpose, to achieve our individual full potential, and the choice to take part within the community. Brianna, can you tell us a bit more about the Supportive Volunteering Program starting this January? Of course! Supportive Volunteering is a new program option for individuals with special needs and disabilities to volunteer at WinReach with individualized support in place. WinReach staff will provide training and modeling of specific and generic volunteer tasks around the property, offering an hour of training within the chosen subject area and two hours of independent volunteer tasks. Our supportive volunteering offers the opportunity for individuals to gain training for an hour each week within either janitorial hospitality, administration, animal care, or horticulture tasks. The janitorial and hospitality option focuses on developing knowledge, skills, and experience within managing the upkeep of an area. Participants will be engaged at their level of ability to learn appropriate ways to use different cleaning supplies and tools, danger awareness of cleaning supplies, and to develop appropriate interactions with others. Participants will explore and learn the knowledge, skills, and tools necessary for cleaning tasks such as sanitizing areas, sweeping and mopping areas, and waste removal, laundry such as sorting laundry, loading the washing machine, using the washing machine and dryer, and folding laundry preparing areas for rentals, such as cleaning the playground, the lower activity center hall, the upper activity center hall, restocking areas, such as replenishing the toilet paper, paper towels, and hand soap, organizing materials, greeting individuals visiting the site, and watering plants. The administration option focuses on developing knowledge, skills, and experience within admin-related tasks. Participants will explore independently completing tasks such as creating resources, for example, picture symbols, visual aids, and visual schedules, inputting data when required, organizing materials and resources, and delivering supplies to offices on the site. The animal care option focuses on developing knowledge, skills, experience, and confidence around our WinReach animals. Participants will explore how to appropriately and safely behave around our animals, the behaviors of animals to be aware of when socializing and interacting with them, and the basic needs of our animals. Participants will explore the following activities. Socializing and interacting with the animals, feeding the animals, such as the amount of feed each animal gets, what each animal eats and why, mucking out the animal enclosures, and grooming the animals. The horticulture option focuses on developing knowledge, skills, and experience working in the outdoor natural environment. The participants will take part in a wide range of activities that are required to maintain the nine-acre Windreach property landscape that includes lawns, hedgerows, pathways, pastures, garden beds, food and ornamental, fruit orchards, and a woodland reserve. Participants will be engaged at their level of ability 
to learn the safe and appropriate use of the tools used in horticulture to complete the Daily Wind Reach Property Landscape Maintenance app. Participants will explore and learn the knowledge, skills, and tools necessary for maintaining garden beds and fruit orchards, for example, soil preparation, planting, weed and pest management, plant identification and harvesting, lawns, for example, mowing, trimming, fertilizing, weeding, plant identification and edging, nature trails, for example, tree line trimming, maintenance of pathways, mulching for erosion prevention and plant identification, pastures, for example, fertilizing, weeding, plant identification and manure management, and finally, organic waste management, for example, composting horticulture debris and animal waste that's been collected from around the property. Special attention will be given to the health and safety of the individual, group, and work environment, and the proper PPE will be provided with danger awareness being taught and practiced with every activity. The health and care of our national environment and the organisms that we share it with is of high importance to us, so all of our horticulture maintenance practices are non-toxic and eco-friendly. Our supportive volunteers can then opt to stay and have their lunch on site from 12.30 to 1.30 p.m. and socialize or leave the site at 12.30 p.m. Our aim with supportive volunteering is to provide the opportunity for individuals with special needs and disabilities to give back to the community, gain new skills, and develop current skills that can be transferred to potential employment, hobbies, or accessing the community. Supportive volunteering will also engage participants to interact with others, create relationships, and increase their social networks. Within supportive volunteering, participants will be supported to complete volunteer tasks linked to their career interests and independent tasks around the Windreach property. Please note that the support we provide is individualized for each participant we support. In some cases, we may provide support in the form of a safe space for an individual to learn and develop with minimal to no support with tasks implemented. Windreach staff can support participants with learning new tasks through creating a supportive environment, person-centered approach, repetition, modeling, verbal direction, and visual aids. One of the key approaches used on site is a person-centered approach. Winwich staff will support our participants at their pace, providing processing time when learning a new task and managing expectations to be supportive and successful. The delivery of the new skill or task we are focusing on will be delivered using appropriate language for the participant alongside visual aids if required. We focus on the individual's strengths whilst working on any areas that the individual may want to develop to create a therapeutic and positive experience. The visual aids that may be used are dependent on the individual support needs and are visual schedules, whether they may be text schedules or symbol schedules, visual aids such as key reminders for tasks like how many scoops of grain per rabbit enclosure or danger awareness reminders. Participants will also be aware of who their point of contact is and where they can find them if they have any questions or concerns. The Winreach staff member providing support to each group will also check in with participants whilst they are completing their independent tasks to ensure the participant is safeguarded and to provide further support if required. We are also providing scheduled time in the end of each session for a debrief of the day. Participants can share any highlights or positive experiences and also raise any concerns they may have. I cannot wait for supportive volunteering to start this January. We're also really excited to share our other programming opportunities for work experience and employment starting in September. Is that the stipend program you're referring to? Yes, yes it is. Starting in the next academic year, September 2023 to 2024, we are planning to provide a stipend program as a next step from the Supportive Volunteering Program. The stipend program requires individuals to have attended Supportive Volunteering to gain skills and experience within certain tasks that can then be carried out independently to a high standard in exchange for payment via the stipend program. This program requires individuals to attend an interview with new staff and discuss and agree on a contract for specific working hours during the week. The stipend program will be offered as a short-term program for a limited time of three months. These three months are aimed to provide individuals with work experience and references that individuals can use for potential employment opportunities. 
Once the individual has completed one month of a stipend program, they are then eligible to explore the Community Engagement Program, which includes a one-month probationary period with agreed expectations and quality of work. The stipend program is optional. Individuals are able to choose to continue with the supportive volunteering program and not join the stipend program should they choose. The aim of the stipend program is for individuals to work towards consistently presenting a high quality of work and job knowledge when completing tasks within their chosen career interest areas of janitorial, hospitality, administration, animal care and or horticulture. All individuals will continue to focus on the development of the following skills. Following instruction, self-presentation, safety and danger awareness, general attitude, timekeeping, initiative, attention and concentration, conflict management, problem solving, interpersonal skills, and flexibility and change. Also starting in September, we are planning to create opportunities for our stipend program participants to shadow within a workplace which offers job roles linked to their career interests and skills they have developed through the supportive volunteering and stipend program. The aim is for the workplaces that our participants are shadowing within to become employment opportunities after. And our final program that we'll begin offering in September is our Community Engagement Program that focuses on participants exploring the community through either employment or further volunteering roles based within other charities. We are aware that everyone has different goals and priorities within their lives that bring them the sense of purpose and fulfillment. WinReach staff will support participants to look for and find employment opportunities, opportunities to access the community, or new volunteering roles. Support will be provided to apply for these roles and to plan next steps. We are also hoping to provide training to potential employers on creating inclusive and supportive workplaces. To summarize, the programs we are excited to start offering are our supportive volunteering, the stipend program, the shadowing program, and the community engagement program. I think it is important that we also highlight for employers that offering job roles to individuals with special needs and disabilities is just the start, and without a supportive and inclusive workplace, it's not enough. I think COVID has taught a lot of us that having flexibility within our workday can result in an increase of high quality work being completed. Some individuals may thrive off of starting their workday earlier, and others may thrive off of having a two to three hour break in the middle of their day. Having flexibility around working hours and deadline expectations can help create a supportive workplace and environment for everyone. Other suggestions on how to create an inclusive workplace have also been noted earlier on in the conference. Specifically, the implementation of visual aids, modeling of tasks, and providing a point of contact for the employee. In addition to the adaptations mentioned above, employers will want to ensure that the workplace is fully accessible. This means having an accessible entrance to the building and for every room within the workplace, as well as ensuring that any other functions or events that employees attend are fully accessible so that everyone feels welcomed and valued. Lastly, an important aspect to embrace is that if you are an employer who does not have a disability, to acknowledge that you will undoubtedly sometimes have ableist moments and to openly encourage your employee to feel comfortable with raising concerns when this does occur so that it can be a positive learning experience for all. If you are interested in attending supportive volunteering or know of an adult with special needs and disabilities who would be interested in attending, please contact myself or Brianna and request an application form. Please note that Supportive Volunteering is a free program for this year starting in January. If you are an organization who would be interested in supporting an employee with special needs and disabilities and would like support with creating an inclusive and supportive workplace, please feel free to reach out to either myself or Brianna. My email is rlawrence at windreach.bm and my email is broach at windreach.bm.